Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Tim coming at you with a first look at Pronti. Uh, yes, it is what it sounds like a play on words of a prong, maybe? I don't know. That's what I thought of when I first thought uh, heard this name, Pronti, and it's an underwater game. Underwater Metroidvania game, in fact. And if you followed any other reviews that I've done or any other games that I talk about playing on the Nintendo Dads podcast then you probably know I really love my Metroidvanias, and for some reason I really like underwater games. So I like to check them out. Um, so thanks to the developers, uh, let's see, the publisher Happy Net Corporation, they sent us a copy of this uh, to check out, which I've been doing. Uh, this game releases on March 7th, and it is currently March 1st. So uh, by the time you get this, I will be have probably played it some more uh, barring any uh, another game I've been playing that you guys heard me talk about a lot um, but I can't wait to talk about this more and give you guys my opinion on the show about this uh, but until then here's this recording of me playing it for the first time well actually this is probably more like a let's play than a first look because I've already been playing it like I said and it is a um, it is a first person where am I going? Jeez, oh, Pete's. It is a Metroidvania game, uh, and it has a lot of content, and I'm enjoying my time with it so far. So let's go through some of the menu options we got here. So here we got achievements that uh, you can unlock. So uh, in-game achievements. So for those of you who like that kind of stuff, you've got this definitely to look forward to. Um, then there's skins you can unlock. And uh, so like complete boss rush and I can unlock a skin for my character there. Complete the hidden ending, complete in any ending, and I'll unlock different skins. Right now I'm using Pronti SW417. This is ZX921, a classic skin. So I imagine it's from the original PC version of the game. So... But like I said, I was using the uh, newer version of Pronti, the one that you see in the image of the game. There's some memories that you can unlock here. So this is basically part of the videos you unlock from playing the game. So this video is basically one of the memories I've unlocked. Let's play it and see what it does. So it's basically a comic book type thing. That's right, this came, this happened right after a bit of the tutorial of the game. So, and I will stop it there so I don't ruin it for you guys. So you can have fun watching that if you decide to play this game. Um, but that is a large creature that affects what you're going to do next in the game. So we got some options. We got general, audio, video, controls. You can change your controls up. Nothing else major or anything different to point out there. So let's jump right into it. So here I played on 222. February 22nd. How about that? Uh, Playtime for almost an hour, and I got about 11 out of 101% complete. Or I guess I'm a sergeant now. Uh, but let's get in the game, and I can break down some of the what that other content means there. Uh, I think sergeant is the um, play level that I set it at. I think it might be rookie, sergeant, general, something like that. All right, so here I am. This is where I went to sleep at. And let's go over some of the things that I learned while playing this. And hopefully I can remember because it's been a few days since I played. 22nd uh, to, to six days in February. So six days ago is the last time I played it. But yes, as I mentioned before, this is a Metroidvania game. And any good Metroidvania game nowadays has a good map. And so far, I have no complaints about this map. I can even set landmarks, and it helped guide me to where I need to go. It shows there's 10% of the map explored, uh, and so there's, 
it gives you an idea of how much is going on in the game. Uh, and it also has the ability to, well, we'll get to that in a minute. So, um, here are, is an encyclopedia of the creatures and locations and records and tutorials and other things that you can look into. Kind of similar to the other underwater game I played before, um, where you had an encyclopedia of, of the creatures you met underwater. So it's kind of cool. This is my inventory. And right over here where you guys can't see it and I don't have a pointer to show you on here. I need to look into that. Get a pointer for this. <laughs> Anyways, maybe that's a tool or something I can add to OBS. Um, but right over, let me see where to point. Right here, closest to where I'm trying to point there. That GAT-112 Looks like it's a thing, once I get three of those, it will boost uh, my health bar. Uh, so that that's cool. Um, that will come in handy for sure. All right, stamina. Uh, there's some skills I've unlocked there. Uh, so there's the forward dash, and hopefully I remember to do some of these moves here. But then there's also some memory boards where I can upload memories. Um, basically, they're memory slots that I can upload these skills into. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, I have a fourth slot. Yeah, so I can add another item to this spot. Right now, I've only got three where I've got all seeing where... This skill will allow me to see um, the all-seeing eyes watching you. You can see the remaining life points of your enemies. The next thing I plugged in was it all starts with an apple. Pronti automatically collects objects from farther distances. So that means, you know, all the items come floating to me magnetically. Uh, this one's enemies suffer minor damage when attacking you. So I have one more I can probably add. I can't do it here. I'll show you where I can add it. Uh, this is you will accelerate when you use your power grinding on enemies. So that was a new move I learned. So I'll show you guys that in a minute. But that's, this is everything in the menu. So um, you can also go to different areas um, that you can get to on the map. So outpost. Um, so this is the one I'm at now that's blinking on the screen right now. Let's zoom in as close as I can get. And this is where I came from was up here on the very top. There's another outpost, um, that I came from and I can actually fast travel to those other outposts as long as I was there and then unlocked, unlocked the ability within that outpost to do that. I'll show you that in a second as well. But anyways, outpost you can go in and sleep, you get rested and recharged. And this is the memory board within the outpost. And this is where I can then update my uh, equipped memories um, or skills. Whoops. Shoot. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, I guess I don't have an open slot. I thought that was open. Why can't I equip you? Oh, it needs two slots. Okay, so I wasn't paying attention there. So electro charge requires two slots, as you can see there in the right. And I just missed it when I was showing that off earlier. It requires two slots and I only have one available. That's why I can't do that right now. All right. So we got that, and this other creature that's following me is my weapon. Uh, so I can, I just received this ability to do the, uh, the spinning move, and it will attack thing, it will, it's basically a grinder, power grinder. So anything around me I can attack with, but it will overheat. So if I let it go too long, when it's actually hitting something, it will over, he will overheat. That's my weapon. Then I can also um, 
Let's see if there anything I can point at here. Whoops, I didn't mean to go to sleep. <laughs> Talk on it. All right, come on. Here we go. Okay, so there's the power bar right there. So I can overheat if I go for too long and it'll count down in that uh, stamina bar essentially. And then I have my spin move, which is the, so the, the weapon move is uh, the right trigger. And then the spin move is the left trigger. All right, so let's leave here. Oh, that's right. Up here on this side uh, is my health is the red. The blue allows me to um, do the, the dodging. Like I can only do it so many times and then I tire out. So I need to stop and let it recharge. And you can see that if you look really close, let's go with full game mode here, game only. If you look really close in the top left corner, there's a heart that's indicating my health. And then the bottom below that is an electricity. That's just my energy and my, my stamina. All right. So let's go looking around here. Oh, wait, there's what else do I have here? That uh, If you look in the bottom left corner, there's a D-pad. Uh, I imagine I'll be able to switch between moves there in like what I can do here. Right now, that's the only move I have, and then I'll be able to switch it, my left trigger button to do other things. I just haven't gotten to that point yet. All right, enough explaining everything here. Let's go ahead and play a little bit here. Let me show what I can do here. And also, um, let's see if I can remember some of the buttons I need to do here. All right. All right, so if I don't hold it down, that's when I can just send that my weapon off to people or, or to. Oh, that's right. I need to uh, do the grind thing there. So that thing was hiding a switch. I also need to should have floated to me but it didn't all right so I got that out of the way and I did a combo thing where I did the spinny thing here so and there's an actual name for it and I apologize I don't have the name for it right now so I open the gate sometimes there's a timer on these things and they'll close but I want to explore a little bit first, because of course it's a Metroidvania game. I need to explore and make sure I'm not missing anything. There are some areas blocked off by what seems like frozen things. Let's see, I came from up there, so I don't want to go there. Let's go over here. It's blocked off. I can't go there, so I have to go around. So that is the only way to go. And I do need to get to... Um, let's zoom out. It doesn't tell me where I need to go. There's nothing on here that's making me go there. All right. Let's go ahead and go. Okay, and that's right. I can use my right stick to point where I want my weapon to go. All right, so I'm collecting recyclable items as well. Um, I believe that's my currency. Uh, and that allows me to also use that to buy items. I vaguely remember that part if I was able to do that yet. So hopefully I'll come across something like that to do that. But right now I, there's a lot of exploring. And also... Let's go here, options. I meant to set, select the difficulty so I could show you where mine was. I have it 
there's sergeant, protector, which is just the um, basic, just play and get the story kind of thing. Um, or is that the harder one? Recruit, sergeant, protector. So Protector uses 100% stamina, consumption, and heat generation 100%. So I think Protector is actually the harder one. Okay, there it is. Raw Recruit uses less. I had it backwards. All right. So and I'm somewhere in the middle. I'm using Sergeant. So damage resistance is 25%. And I am using up 100%. So, yep. I'll keep it at Sergeant where I had it. But you can change the difficulty, which is nice. So you can play the way you want to play. All right. Now, I can't go against that. That um, fan is blocking me, see? And even if I use my spinning move, I can't get through there. I gotta go all the way around. Probably fight some things. Okay, so his name is Bront, that's right. Pronti, do you see that light sensor on the gate? Yes. This defensive gate was expressly designed to defend against monsters. When monsters are detected nearby, red lights on the gate will activate. Don't worry, as the current color means we're safe. It will allow protectors to pass freely under the safe conditions. The other side doesn't feature a light sensor, so you need to open it with the switch. All right. Power attack. I think this time we can also Oh well. Your happiness is my happiness as well. According to the to my data, your power attack can generate and accumulate energy. In it then releases that energy all at once. Delivering a devastating blow to target targeted enemies. There's no time to waste. Let's go. Alright, so we get a power attack. Use R to aim at a target. Long press. ZR, then release. You got it. While using power grinder, use the cursor to aim at an enemy and release to use the power attack. Nice. Alright, let's give it a try. Release power grinder to perform a power attack. But I can't open. Do I need to go on the other side? All right, let's go over here. Come on. Target attack, there we go. There we go. It should now be safe to pass through the gate. There we go, that's what I had to do. Nice. And it's on both sides. Wait. Get away from me. All right, so I got a little damage there. I was trying to see if I could use the new move, but I should have just did the grinder part. All right, the switch is up there, so that means it's gonna be blocked off. All right, and I did discover in one of the other areas there are Little secret caverns, little secret areas to go to. So, of course, that means you have to explore. Dang it. Okay. I don't like you. Whatever that was. Can't break that. 
All right. Let's go over here. Ooh, that got a lot of stuff on that one. All right. Man, I can't seem to get that to move quick enough. All right, keep getting damaged. All right, let's move along here. Up. Oh. Uh, all right. Two people fighting over there. Or two people, two fish. Dang it. That's not good. That's not good. Speedy circuit. That should come in handy some other time. Just checking around. All right. All right. Let's make sure I didn't miss anything else. Health is very hard to find around here. Oh, there's a blue one this time. What does this one do? X358 seems like another piece of equipment left behind while preparing for battle. Shouldn't these things be stored safely in the security center? Anyway, EXC358 is a unique medical tonic. You can enhance it. It can enhance its taker's mobility and muscle power. I have downloaded detailed instructions into the codex. All right. All right, so this is like that red one, but now it's a blue one. And so I want to look at the codex here. Let's look at the inventory. All right, so we've got this. And, and the other one. So one of each. So I imagine, like I said, I find two more of each and then it will boost up the red area or the blue area. All right. There, is that the red, that's the elixir. Oh, there's the red one. All right, so developed by the Royal Central Academy, GRT-112 is a unique tonic that enhances power of rejuvenation and attack resistance. After collecting three, you can choose to increase Pront's max, Pronti's max HP or max stamina. Oh, okay. So that I can choose between the two. So what's the other one do then? This one is a unique tonic that enhances mobility and muscle power, thereby extending stamina for extreme exercise. After collecting three, you can choose to increase bront bront's attack power or heat resistance. Oh, okay. Nice. That's really cool. All right. That makes sense now. Look at that. We both learned it together. I need to go back, don't I? This is require one. Shorten the preparation time needed to deliver a power attack. Why can't I pick this now? It says I only need one memory slot. I 
I don't understand fishing metaphors. Oh, that's right. I have to be in the... Uh, I have to be in my area first in order to do that. I'll post. All right, let me go back to here because I think I need to unlock something first. Well then, let's take a look at the map here. What do we got? Going up goes back to there, but I don't want to do that right now. Or do I actually? I need some health. So before I go that way, let's go back here. Because I can go back up and out and go back to the outpost. Go straight to the map. Ah, oh, I gotta get through all that. Perfect. He doesn't go far enough. Come on, where are you? Down there. There we go. Nice. All right, then I open that up. Now I can come back here. Let's go here before I save. And now, now I can put that there. Now let's sleep. And now I am full, fully back to health. So let me go back to here. So this is where I can, that's the tube I was talking about where I can uh, fast travel to different places in the map. So as long as I've unlocked it in the outpost, in these other outposts, which you can see here, this one was repaired, this one was not because it was damaged by an event. Um, this one is the only one I've unlocked to go to. So I can fast travel which is nice. So as you can see here as well, if I need to, I can mark things on the map uh, so I can be reminded, because of course it's a Metroidvania game, to where I can get to um, where I need to go. Uh, but not here, I gotta be in the map itself. Here we go. So let's zoom in. I can see right here that I need to, right here, there's a spot I can go to, to the left. And then I wanted to come back here to the outpost so I could get some health. I can go back down here and go through this tube and explore some more. But so far, that's what I've been, uh, it's the first look into this first area. As you can see, I've only gotten about 10% of the map done. Um, and there's... You can ramp up the amount of difficulty you need so you get more enemies. There's a lot of exploring to do here. And again, this is only the beginning. I can only imagine as you get further into the world, there's going to be a lot more going on. So again, this is the first look. I'm going to play some more. And by the time this re this video releases, hopefully I'll get some more under my belt. And we can do a let's play uh, where I'm further down the line. Until then... You can listen to me talk about this game on the Nintendo Dads on our Thursday night podcast or in your podcast feed um, or look out for the next video. 
Or if you want to see another video, leave it in the comments. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments. So thanks a lot for stopping by. I'll check you later.